hello friends welcome back today we are going to see how to create the mosquito mqtt bridge and implement it i have installed mosquito mqtt broker on my ubuntu based system so if you are interested to know how to install the mosquito mqtt broker on the ubuntu based system then you can watch this video on my channel so mosquito mqtt bridge is formed between the two brokers this is the setup for implementing the mqtt bridge so as per the setup you can see two brokers are there broker 1 and broker 2 so on broker 1 we are going to implement the bridge configuration and broker 2 will be a simple broker i am going to implement both the brokers that is broker 1 and broker 2 on my pc so i am going to address broker 1 at localhost and this broker 1 will listen to the port 1884 and broker 2 will be available on the IP 192.168.1.100 and this broker 2 will listen to the port 1883 so bridge will be formed between these brokers that is broker 1 and broker 2 here you can see client A is uh, addressing broker 1 and client B is addressing broker 2 for this setup we are going to use this topic specification as given that is topic hash both zero hash means this is the wildcard topic direction both means the message will travel from broker 1 to broker 2 and from broker 2 to broker 1 in both the direction and zero is the quality of service this is the general format for specifying the topic we are going to specify the topic name then the direction that can be in or out when the direction is in that means message will travel from broker 2 to broker 1 or broker 1 is subscribed to the topic of the broker 2 when the direction is out then the message will travel from broker 1 to broker 2 we will implement the setup for this topic that is topic hash both 0 so whenever client A publishes the message to the broker 1 then it will be sent through the bridge to the broker 2 and the message will be available at the client B provided client B has subscribed to the same topic which client A has used whenever client B sends the message or publishes the message to the broker 2 that message will be sent to broker 1 and ultimately it will be available with the client A now we will test this setup now for that purpose we need to create the configuration file for the broker bridge and the normal bridge that is broker 1 which is the bridge broker and broker 2 is a normal broker so i have already created the configuration file for the normal broker that is broker 2 and the bridge broker we will see the configuration for the bridge broker so we will open this file that is test underscore br dot com this is the configuration file for the bridge broker that is broker 1 and this broker is going to listen to the port 1884 anonymous connections are allowed then these are the settings for the bridge which is implemented on the broker 1 here the connection name is connection dash broker 1 here the address specified is uh, 192.168.1.100 and port mention is 1883 so bridge will get connected with this IP address on this port that is 1883 we are using the simple topic specification first so this specification we are going to use so with this setting we are going to save this file so configuration file for our bridge broker is ready we are going to see the configuration file for the broker 2 and which is stored in the test.configuration file so we will open this test.configuration file so this is the simple broker that is broker 2 which is going to listen to the port 1883 and the anonymous connections are allowed so save this file test.config so we are going to test this setup now so we are using four terminals over here first terminal will be used for the broker 2 that is a normal broker second terminal will be used for bridge broker that is broker 1 so let us start this broker that is broker 2 first which is a normal broker which is going to listen on the address 192.168.1.100 and the port used will be 1883 so let us start this broker by using this command test.conf file we are going to use as the configuration file and this is the path where the file is stored so we will run this command to start the broker 2 so broker 2 has started 
and it is listening on 1883 port we will start broker one as well by using this command so here configuration file used is test underscore br dot conf so we will run this broker now you can see breach has been formed between these two brokers broker one has joined broker two as the client now you can see connection is available from this ip and bridge has been established so we will start our publisher client and the subscriber client we will start our subscriber client on this fourth terminal and it will be addressing this broker that is broker 2 using the ip 192.168.1.100 and port used will be 1883 so let us run this command to start the subscriber now this subscriber has got connected with this broker 2 this one we will publish the message through the publisher client and we will be using terminal 3 for that this publisher client will address this broker that is broker 1 on the local host and the port use is 1884 and this subscriber client is connected on the IP 192.168.1.100 and port use is 1883 let us implement this mosquito underscore pub command now here the topic use is house slash test subscriber is also subscribed to the topics house slash test so we will run the publish command now so we have sent the message hello from this publisher so it has been received by the broker one broker one has uh, transmitted this message to the broker two here you can see that message has arrived from the broker one so broker two has transmitted this command to this subscriber client and you can see hello message is available over here so we will do the reverse communication we will publishing the message to the broker two and we will be running the subscriber client on this terminal that is terminal 3 and it will be listening to the broker 1 so let us implement that so we will run the subscriber client on this terminal 3 we will be addressing localhost that is this broker 1 and port used will be 1884 and the topic used is house slash test so we will run this command so our subscriber is connected with the broker one now we will publish the message through the publisher client and we are going to use the terminal 4 for this and we will implement this command this publisher client will address this broker to on the IP address 192.168.1.100 and the topic uses house slash test port uses 1883 and the message is this reverse hello this message will travel from the publisher client to the broker 2 and from broker 2 the message will travel to broker 1 and then it will be received by this subscriber client over here so let us run this publisher command from the fourth terminal now you can see message arrived over here this is the message received from the publisher client then it has been sent to the broker one and the from broker one the message has arrived over here on the subscriber end so for simple setup the testing is complete so this is the second setup we are going to implement here we are going to use the topic as mentioned over here so topic used will be this that is the topic name is house slash sensor direction will be out quality of service will be zero and the prefix use is the local prefix that is b1 for the broker one so whenever the client uh, publishes the message with this topic and with this prefix to the broker one then broker 1 will send it to the broker 2 and client B will receive it if it is subscribed to this topic that is house slash sensor in the second case the topic name used is house slash lamp and direction is in that means broker 1 is subscribed to the topic of the broker 2 quality of service value is 0 over here and the remote prefix has been used over here that is B2 
the, whenever the client B publishes the message over this topic using the prefix B2 then broker 2 will receive the message and it will forward that message to broker 1 with the prefix B2 broker 1 will remove the prefix B2 and the message will be available over here at client A side if it is subscribe to this topic that is house slash lamp so we are going to modify the configuration file for the broker one open the file test underscore br dot config change this change this setting only by keeping the rest of the settings as it is so we are going to comment this topic so this topic house slash sensor is used over here in the out direction with the local prefix b1 and here the topic house slash lamp is used in the in direction with the remote prefix b2 so we will save this configuration for the broker 2 configuration will remain same so we will start the broker 2 that is normal broker in terminal 1 by using this command configuration file used is test.config run this command so our broker 2 has started now let us run the bridge broker here the configuration file used is test underscore br so we will start this broker in the terminal 2 now you can see how the topics are bridged over here you can see the let us implement the subscriber and the publisher client so we will run the subscriber client first from the fourth terminal by using the command so this client that is the subscriber client is going to address this broker that is broker 2 on the IP 192.168.1.100 and the port used will be 1883 and here topic used will be house slash sensor so we will run this command and will start the subscriber now the subscriber has connected with the now the subscriber has got connected with the broker 2 so we will publish the command from the publisher client and so we will use this command so our publisher will address the local host that is the broker one using the port 1884 and message sent will be hello and see this topic here local prefix has been used that is b1 so we will run this command from the terminal 3 there is some error so space is removed now let us run this command again now you can see this publisher client has sent the command to the broker one and broker1 has sent the publish command to the broker2 and broker2 has sent the command to the subscriber client so hello is received over here so the message received here on the broker1 with the prefix b1 and when it is sent to the b2 then the prefix has been removed we can see that message has been forwarded to the subscriber over here in the port terminal so we will do the reverse way communication again that means we are going to publish the message from the port terminal to the broker 2 we will be su running the subscriber from the terminal 2 and it will be addressing the local host that is the broker 1 so let us implement it so let us run the subscriber first so we will run the subscriber from the terminal 3 and it will be addressing the broker one and topic used here is house slash lamp this topic we are going to use so we will be publishing the command from the port terminal and this publisher will address the broker two and topic used over here it will be house slash lamp and you can see b2 prefix it is for the broker two which is the remote prefix message published will be reverse hello so message will travel from the publisher to the broker 2 from broker 2 it will travel to the broker 1 from broker 1 the message will travel to the subscriber which is subscribed to this topic house slash lamp so let us run this command oh our subscriber is not running so run the subscriber again so let us run the publisher command from the terminal 4 now you can see the publisher has sent the message to the broker 2 and the broker 2 has received this message over the topic b2 slash house slash lamp and it has forwarded that message to the broker 1 and you can see over here b2 prefix is missing and then this message has been received by the subscriber over here 
so now we have successfully implement the setup too so we are going to use the mosquito mqtt bridge with the remote broker now we will modify the configuration file for broker one so let us modify it i am going to specify a remote broker address over here that is test dot mosquito dot org so we are going to try this simple topics over here so we will implement this bridge with this topic save the configuration file first terminal we are not going to use second terminal we are going to use so we will run this command with the modified configuration file we will run our bridge broker that is broker1 with the modified configuration file so we will start our broker1 that is the bridge broker now you can see bridge connection has been established with this remote broker that is test.mosquito.org let us try to publish the message and receive the message using this bridge we are going to implement the subscriber client in the fourth terminal and we will be using the command so in this command that is mosquito underscore sub we have used the host as test.mosquito.org topic used is house slash test and we are using the port 1883 so let us run this command to get connected with the remote broker so this client that is subscriber client has subscribed to this topic house slash test and it is connected to this broker that is test.mosquito.org so we are going to publish the message from the terminal 3 by using the command so we are going to publish the command to the local host that is the broker one the topic uses house slash test we will be using the port 1884 and message is hello let us run this command that is mosquito underscore pub and let us see what happens now you can see the client has published the message to the broker one and broker one has received this message and forwarded it to the remote broker that is test.mosquito.org and from this uh, remote broker we have received the message on the subscriber client over here in the fourth terminal in this video we have seen how to create the mosquito mqtt bridge and how to implement it hope you like this video so friends that's it for today thanks for watching the video if you like this video then please hit the like button please share this video with your friends and do subscribe to this channel thanks again and have a good time